Hello everyone, I am Stephen Litton, the Chief Technology Officer from the Spirit Stone team, and I am honored to be sharing this information with you today. Now for a brief overview, since graduating from Carnegie Mellon University, I have worked in many technological firms, one of which is Intel, where I was directly involved in software development, system architecture, and network communication. Therefore, with that experience and as the CTO of NGK, I will be ensuring the quality of the underlying blockchain and provide the relevant guidance of compatibility to the hardware components. The main net of our NGK project was launched on the 14th of October and the market response gave us a lot of motivation and a strong sense of responsibility at the same time. Now because of that, we will be emphasizing on the project's development path and technological innovation so that it can develop stably and steadily. NGK.io's development route adheres to its six-in-one strategy plan, including the open source technology, listing on exchanges, implementation of applications, development of enterprise side chains, integration of cross-chain wallet, and the establishment of DAPP. Besides, NGK.io also pays extra attention to the construction of the business ecosystem as we plan to launch the DeFi trading system in the very near future. In terms of ecological governance, NGK.io utilizes EOS's 21 block producer mechanism. The structure is comparatively more democratic and decentralized as it tackles the inherent paradoxes of the traditional blockchain system. Simply put, NGK.io has greatly improved the efficiency and the transaction processing of the system. But due to the lack of DeFi's use in the credit information system, the problem of price fluctuations in loans is getting more serious. To solve this problem, we plan to build a new DeFi with our proprietary credit system. With that, all users can obtain exclusive financial services, such as credit limits based on their credit scores. In addition, NGK's credit system will be introducing offline funds and financial products. Traditional institutions can use NGK's credit system for loan or investment, while users can trade and use advanced operations such as leverage according to their credit score. As we all know, most of the common DeFi products on the market are developed on the Ethereum network, and new projects can pay up to $15,000 to DAO in deployment costs during its early stages of development. Moreover, the high gas costs also discourage users with small funds, which hinders the further development of DeFi and Ethereum. However, due to NGK's unique DPOSS consensus algorithm, it is developed as a blockchain, hence differentiating it from other DeFi projects in the market. In other words, a self-developed commercial blockchain means that there is no high transaction fee and it has a more stable rate compared to other similar products. 